generator. And the disposable probes for the ablation catheter. Apparently, it's the only means of treating Mr. Leaf. Sorry, I don't quite follow. It seems the suppliers are claiming the Foundation owes them for six months outstanding invoices. Well, surely the chief executive could shed some light. Miss Hosell's not easy to get hold of. I was hoping you might have a word with her. I've never even met her. She's unlikely to speak to me. The Foundation is none of my business. Well, it's hardly mine either. I mean, I just deal with the fluff, balls and dinners and so on. I know. I'm sorry, I've got a hairdresser's appointment this afternoon. Of course. I really don't think there's anything I can do. Well, I appreciate your coming in. <coughs> Jane Grayson. Okay, Mr. Hope, I'm on my way. Have you got five more minutes? Oh, thank you. You wanted me to speak to Adam Leaf? Yes, yes. His, um, his heart rhythm is still irregular, but the rate is stable. Uh, sorry, I've, uh, I've, I've got a Welsh mitral valve, I think. Mr. Leaf. I'm staying here. Unfortunately, due to funding issues, we are unable to do the operation as scheduled. I'd like to apologise on behalf of the Byrne Foundation. We really are very sorry. If you would like to return home, then we can resume your treatment as soon as we can. If I knew what the problem was with the foundation... It's not straight. Oh. Thanks. OCD. It's not as good as plasma screen. Really? How's that? Definition. It's not as good. Mm. I expect that's a funding issue, too. I want the operation today. I know. I'm so sorry. Hello? Oh, Miss Holzell, it's um, Anne-Marie Byrne here. Thank you for coming back to me. No problem. I'm, I'm sorry about this morning's patient. Yes, well, I think we all are. I was wondering if you could shed any light on when funding might be available. Well, essentially, it's a matter of supplier confidence. We need to have a healthy balance in the account, so we don't pay individual invoices until there's a blocked debt. By holding back on the funds, we improve our consumer trust, plus we get the added interest. And then Mr. Leaf gets his procedure. Once I'm happy we've got the maximum return, yes. Does any of this make any sense to you? A little. Well, it doesn't to me. Quite frankly, I think that whole Zell character is welcome to it. I'm sure there's a sheet missing. Well, I must go. We might need to ask the Foundation for more detail on these papers. I really think I've done all I can. Will you let me know when the procedure is rescheduled? Anne-Marie, the Foundation does bear your name. Which is why I shall talk to Mr. Leaf before I go. All the basic mistakes. It's so hard. It's an easy thing to do. I shouldn't have said anything you could take so literally. At least you're still getting offers. By the way, I have been through all the accounts and there is a sheet missing. If you could ask them to look for it. There must be something we can do for him. Well, you could ask Miss Rosel to come in. Oh, what can I do for you? I would like a lay person's rationale for this business of letting the invoices pile up. OK. From the top. A cogent rationale. Otherwise, I should like you to discontinue the practice. With respect, as chief executive, that's my shout. Do you know what it's like? For a young person with Asperger's syndrome to plan something like it's this? It's a non-emergency procedure. It feels like an emergency to him. He has an acute sense of order, and messing him round like this is cruel. OK. Look, I'm sorry that we've taken our eye off the ball with Mr Adam. Mr Leaf. We're sorting out a whole bunch of medical charities here. And you know what? There wasn't one of them that was up to speed with best practice when we took it on. But why weren't these invoices included in the list you sent us earlier? They're waiting for processing. Processing? This is dated February 2007. No wonder the suppliers are going mad. An oversight? They'll get their money. But Adam Leaf will not get his operation when he needs Funds it. Funds are up 18% year on year. 
If you're not happy with that level of... Blood, I'm happy my husband isn't here to see his name associated with this kind of chicanery. If you think he can do a better job, then be my guest. I'm sorry. That was ill-judged. Well, once the invoices are paid, there shouldn't be a problem. However, you must inform the trustees that there is a vacancy for chief executive. Oh, I really don't see I, I think you could do it. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going to have to go. I'll call about advertising the post. Excuse me, Jane. Hello, Elliot. Jane Grayson here. Yeah, I wonder, would you do something for me? Andrew, thank you for speaking to Mr. Leaf. You made a real difference to him today. Oh, it's the least I could do. I was uh, talking to a couple of the trustees about a replacement for Miss Hosell. They asked me if I could recommend anyone. No, really, I couldn't. Well, I think you've just shown you could. I understand the job's yours if you want it. It would be great to have someone in charge I could trust. All right, I'll do it. Excellent. Well, I look forward to a fruitful collaboration. <laughs>